Good morning guys. So I will be showing you what my life looks like as a diver. For today's agenda, I will be scuba diving with my instructor Ram. I'm actually taking my advanced open water course and my nitrox. Today I will be doing my advanced open water drills. I'm not gonna go into specifics with my certification. I'm just gonna go take you with me for the day. Forgive me, I'm quite sleepy still because I just woke up. So usually my day starts with free diving, but right now I'm trying my best to concentrate first on scuba diving because I'm taking my course. So no free diving for me today, but usually my schedule looks like 6, 7 a.m. I'll be free diving until maybe around 9 and then go scuba diving afterwards. And then the next day it's the same thing, but then now since I'm taking my advanced open water course, it's just quite different. For those who want to take their advanced open water course, I will probably make a separate video for it because there's really a lot to explain. Right now, I'm just getting ready for my dives. I'm going to my instructor's place so that we can prepare our gear and go diving already. I'm excited. Before heading out, I'll show you guys the different products that I use to prepare myself. For the sunscreen, I actually use a reef safe vegan sunscreen from Isla Creation. Oh, looks like that. This is gonna get messy. I'm gonna put some lock on my body now. So, time to get naked. So after my sunscreen, I apply my Nivea Naturally Good Dio and it smells great. Instead of the usual perfume, you know, I don't really use perfume because I'm going underwater anyway, but this keeps me fresh. So just a bit of spray. Sometimes if I want to tan in the boat, I also use this natural tanning lotion. And yeah, so that's what I do in the morning. Pretty simple. I will go to my instructor's place so I can prepare for my scuba activities for the day. And I'll take you with me. Come on, come on, let's go. I'm back from my dive. I have a bit of break time before I go on to another dive. So I will be showing you a few of the stuff that I use on a daily basis, which are natural and safe for the environment. Let's start with what I use for my hair. I actually use shampoo bars. This is from Beachborn. The reason why I love shampoo bar is because it helps the environment so much. Instead of buying like those plastic bottles, I buy just the bar because I already have like a tin can for it that I've been using for years. And I also have a conditioner bar, which it looks like this, and it lasts me for months. For the sunscreen I've showed you earlier, I'm using Isla Creation, which is like a reef safe vegan sunscreen. I use this tanning um, browning lotion from Maui Babe, which is also natural. Last but not the least, I wanted to show you these. These are from Nivea. I've discovered this, I think, around six months ago. It's such a healthier option compared to those 
chemical stuff that you put on your skin, like let's say perfume and other deodorants that has harmful chemicals. And I'm not such a fan of um, things that have too much chemical. So I'm really health conscious when it comes to that, especially what you put inside your body and what you put on your skin. Nivea is naturally good to you. This is what I use the most, the spray one. It's 95% natural ingredients and it's 100% vegan and it's safe for your skin. I have really sensitive skin, so every time I try on products, sometimes I get rashes, but then with my Nevia Naturally Good Dio, it doesn't. I'm talking about all natural stuff because I'm a free diver and a scuba diver. I love the ocean so much. And ever since I have been close to nature and I've been exposed to this kind of world, it's just that I've become more aware of the things that we consume, how much we affect the world. So the things that we purchase, the things that we buy, everything is connected. So the more that we buy stuff that are not natural, the more that we contribute to the destruction of the world. It's really hard to be a really good citizen of the world, but step by step. So here's my few steps. Like I always choose natural and sustainable product as much as possible. What I own, I want it to be sustainable and I try my best to recycle things, you know, switching to a more natural lifestyle just is just so much better for your health as well too. So if you're not thinking about the environment, think about your own health because it really benefits you. The reason why I'm switching to a more natural lifestyle, just so you know, you have also an idea why, is because first, it's more sustainable, it helps the environment, and it's better for the world in general. Number two, it's better for your own health. Like if you switch to natural, you your skin gets better, Your your body feels better. It prevents you from diseases, certain diseases. Like if you go on a natural diet, like let's say you eat fruits and vegetables and everything is naturally prepared for you and not eating fast food or junk. It helps you have a better immune system. I hope that um, this encourages you to switch to a more natural lifestyle as well. We have to start somewhere and maybe by purchasing healthier products we can help step by step slowly but surely save the planet for the wild all right guys so last few dives and i will be done i will actually go on a night dive today because it's part of my advanced open water so i'm going to show you how my my day ends but it's probably going to be abrupt